Hey everybody, welcome to Leo's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. Sorry videos have been so scarce. It's the summer. It happens. Uh, we're looking to Caleb's second 925. Well, actually, you're looking at my ugly mug right now. We'll look at a 925 in a second. Uh, this saw pisses me off, kind of like the last one, uh, because it doesn't show outward signs of problem. But when it runs, it doesn't run right. So what I mean is, uh, <clears throat> you know, if you look at the piston, it looks okay from the muffler port. It doesn't have any compression, or it doesn't have enough compression. It'll run, but I want to show you guys what a saw that's low on compression runs like. You can get a rev. Now, under load, they're not going to have the power, they're not going to have the torque, the pull. But idle is where it really can show up, and... I don't know what's wrong with this one. Uh, I think I have a piston because I think this is a, uh, a late enough model that it's probably got the two inch piston in it. So I do have that. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys kind of how this all came together and what, uh, what led me to, to pull out the compression tester okay there's some easy stuff I knew I needed to but again the runnability of the saw the way it runs we'll, we'll go into that tilt this camera down first and get a view of the saw pretty clean looking right so what's going on not real impressive there you know the whole pick the saw up and hang it test I can't even pick the saw up off the bench first sign so let's Zero out the old compression tester, and I'll see if I can do this. One pole cold, 45. Not, not bad. Second, we'll say 65. Third, whoops, still 65. Fourth, okay, that caught a little bit. Now we're up to, not really caught, 85. 90, 93, 96, we're going to make a hundred, about 98, not quite, 99, and 99 and a half, okay, not getting anywhere, low compression, but it will start sort of takes way too many pulls and that is an absolute symptom of low compression but it's a symptom of many things so I'm not saying when you got a hard to start saw automatically you got low compression but you can start putting two and three together and coming up with a, an answer to a puzzle that otherwise doesn't make sense Let's get a plug back in it, and we'll see if we can get this piece to fire. See that? Number one, that should have just taken off in a run, and it didn't. I'm going to have to drop start it. I'm going to choke it once more, and then I'm going to drop start it full throttle. Alright, you see that? It just died right off at idle. That is not from the carburetor settings. I've dinked with this enough. Our low is at roughly 1.25 open. I'll go to one and a half just to, to prove that I'm right. The high speed doesn't matter. This is a governed carb. It's governed twice. Not only is there a the governor screwed into the side of the carb right here, but on the high speed 
jet itself in the carb, there's a hole drilled down through the top of it. So this thing's double governed. Let's see if we can get it running again. side it will not idle I could turn the idle speed up and get it up in the 3800 4500 rpm range well above clutch engagement speed and it would keep going but it doesn't have enough compression to idle. just for shits and grins let's take a peek at what compression is now that it's partially warmed up. Let's see if I can burn my fingerprints off with that spark plug. It's going to be lower. That's why they tell you to do compression test cold. You've got the different expansion rates and that is the, the metric the factory uses is a cold compression setting. All right. Poles is enough. 56. 56 pounds of compression. So again, I don't know what the hell's wrong in this saw. Because from the muffler port, you can't see damage. Now that was basically the case in Caleb's other saw, the one that I thought I was doing first. When I got that one apart, there was scoring all around the transfer ports. So that tells me it sucked a whole lot of dirt on that other saw. This one, I don't know. I'll have to get into it to find out. But that wasn't the whole point of the video. The point of this video was to give you a demonstration of what a low compression saw sounds like and runs like. Again, once you get this one running, you could cut wood with it. It would never idle, and it wouldn't have the power that it should, but you could cut wood. Wouldn't recommend it though. I think it would just hasten its demise even further. Right now there's at least hope that the cylinder's not so destroyed that we can drop a, a new piston in there and get it to go. But we'll see. Catch you on the next one.